and considerations, so well, I think we're going to might be give it a uh, 10. A 10? You're yeah. exaggerating, surely. Well, being as qualified as I am to fly one of these and uh, to understand what it takes to take off, we're still breathing. I don't have blood all over me. <laughs> Settle down. We're in the air, so uh, that's good enough for me. Okay, that's good. You're easy to please. <laughs> don't tell everyone that. Down we go then. Let's hold it there, it's going too fast. A bit scared. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, today we have our guest star for the day, Mike. Don't reveal his last name because of confidentiality reasons and uh, and his contract with the AFL. Oh no, sorry. Um, so you do realise you could have any guest star up here and no one would know. <laughs> Because we all wear the same helmet. Hey, what voices can you do? <laughs> what impersonations? Spot that voice today. Uh, Today's no, mystery no, speaker. Me, can you just talk in one particular voice today so we think that is who you are? Hello, my name is Shona. Do you reckon we can work out who that is? I sound like one of the girls off The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Hit my cigarette out. Now to the right, we have a pelican. He's a... Uh, Oh, no, he's coming around. No, he's not too. He tried to come around on me. He must be in a sample. There's a sharp there. Oh. Hey. Um, okay, anyway, seriously. This might be a serious flight, seriously. Um, pilotage, responsibility will be serious. But in terms of actual conversation? So, I do have a very important question as a uh, passenger on one of these flights. But before you do, hold on a minute. Maryvale traffic track 6340 is 1,400 and trekking south for Rainbow Beach, currently two miles to the east of Maryvale, and that's Maryvale traffic. Yes, sir. So, you know, just theoretically, we're flying along, we're having a great time, we've got the view, everything's going really well, and then all of a sudden, you have a heart attack and you do it. Oh, someone's asked me that once before. Do I look like a heart attack potential, do I? No, 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 I'm not worried about you, I'm worried about me. Oh, you, I don't Yeah, how do I, how do I get the track down? But I just, am oh. I stuck up there forever? Oh, you're worried about me having a heart attack and how you save yourself. C correct, yep. Oh. yep, yep, now you get it. Yep. I thought you were worried about you having a heart attack. No. Well, I'll probably have a heart attack if you have a heart attack while you're flying the plane off the passenger. Right. So, have you flown one of these before? No, I've only ever okay, been so, a boy. So have you ever actually had any, well I guess it goes to mention that you've had no experience or no training at all? No, look, I'm very experienced, I've just never had the training. In flying, I mean. Oh, flying, oh right, yeah. yeah. Uh, no. So in other words, you're probably safer getting out and jumping, right? Uh, no, look, you know, you know what those flakes are like, we can normally turn two together and uh, sort of work out a few things. It's a bit like riding a skateboard, isn't it? You'll fall off a couple of times out yourself. Okay, look, 
see the trees over there? Yep. Don't land in there. Look for the flat open area? Yep. See the clearer pastures in front of us over here with the cattle are? Yep. Don't land with the cattle. Well, hang on. They're, are they white fluffy sheep? Won't they make it soft? No, they're cattle, mate. Okay. Yeah, first of all, you've got to establish and identify the animals. Right. Okay, over to the right. You see that little bit of grass strip there? Yes. I wouldn't land there either. Is that boggy? It's just not looking good, is it? I mean, why would you land there? There's a lovely hard It looks ground. like a runway, but it actually looks like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, there might be a drain through the middle of it. Okay. Yeah. So I wouldn't go there. I'd be looking that? for power lines. All of a sudden, your workload as a non-pilot has gone through the ceiling. We don't think of these things, though. No. So, see the road down there? That looks great. From my experience, that is very narrow and uh, very rocky and probably potholes. I wouldn't go there either. Okay. Yeah. And if you come out, it's going to hurt. And it looks like we're going to clip the fence with the wings, probably, yeah. potentially. Well, the other thing you need to consider is we know from the takeoff that the wind is from the northeast, wasn't it? That's right. So, so to get the slowest descent to land, we want to low land as slow as we can. Is always landing into wind, isn't it? Base land into the northeast in this example? Definitely not, not, not a tailwind. Okay, tailwind will give us, we've got 10 knots um, headwind we had when we took off which gives us a 10 knot tailwind, which is a 20 knot differential landing with a tailwind. So landing with a headwind will reduce our actual landing speed by 10 knots as opposed to no wind, yep. which is beneficial. Now, we want to basically find a nice flat open green area, no fences, no power lines landing into wind as wide as possible so we don't have, we have a lot of room to play. Because you won't be able to land this on a dime. You won't be able to focus on a, a patch on the ground and say, that's where I want to go. And part of my view is obstructed too, looking forward. Oh, I'll be slumped over half dead, remember? And, and you, you, because you're slumped over, that means you're resting heavily on the bar. Is that right? Which could be a, a problem for that, you. That would be a problem, would it not? Yeah, yeah. And you can't throw me out because you're upset the weight balance of the aircraft. I can't throw you out. No, because the plane would then have be tail heavy. Should should I be worried about me throwing you out of the plane and worrying about the plane, or what your wife would say? Uh, you won't have to answer. If you throw me out, you won't have to answer to my wife because um, we're both gone. You're both gone. Okay. Well, that's the answer to that question. But see, these things you don't get to discuss and dwell on under the circumstances that we're discussing. All right. Uh, Here's a tip my instructor gave me. Down here on the right hand side, there's a house. And there's a nice flat bit of ground. Now, if you're going to come unstuck, if you need to land and you don't know how, that looks like a fairly good clear area. If you have an accident, guess what? There's help there immediately. If you can even crawl to the house with a broken leg, you'll get help. But if you're going to land out in the middle of nowhere, you've got nothing. No one's even going to know you're there. Especially so around that's another point to this area. Yeah, no, that's now, good. If you hadn't have noticed, there's a runway just there. I don't know if you can see it. But just in the background, over there, there's a runway. You wouldn't know that. No. But that would be, if I had an engine out problem now, I'd be going for that right now. Okay. I'd be struggling though because I'd have a headwind. A headwind component. It would actually be a crosswind. It would be a crosswind, wouldn't it? And it would be very difficult because it would be crosswind with a lot of trees around that runway. So we'd be having a lot of rotor roll. No. And we'd have no, no power with no engine. Remember, there's no we. You're slumped over. Yes, well, you'd have a problem. I'd have a problem anyway. It would be quite a difficult landing for me. Yeah, yeah. Good thing you got a helmet on. So, I could grab these two bars to the left and to the right. Oh, yeah. That are, that are, no, uh, let, me, let me get some altitude and we'll have you go. Okay, let's pull the uh, wing up. So, we're going to go up like a bullet. We're off like a bullet. So, uh, what's it, half tide, low tide? Um, half tide, I think. So, you wouldn't want to land on a sand flat, would you? It'd be soft. You'd dig in straight you'd away. You'd have to be careful, you'd have to pick your location quite well. I'll head for 2,000 feet, we'll get some cooler air, it's a bit warm down near the ground, eh? It's quite comfortable, actually. Now, yeah. We'll get 2,000 anyway, because it'll give us a bit more flight altitude for recovery, should you but roll us inverted or put us in a weird loop. For, for other words, mistakes. Now, our destination today, if you can see it, is down that direction. 
there's some uh, smog though, there's a lot of smoke. Yeah, it's not very clear. We're just heading over to Gary's anchorage. We're going to avoid the airspace over here. It could be active, it shouldn't be on the weekend, but it's army. And they fly drones and things and they fire bombs into the air like mortar shells. Excellent. So we won't go there. Right, we're at 2000, we're going to level off. That was quick. It was reasonable. And we're going to trim down. Get some speed back. You can feel that temperature change now, eh? Yeah, it's cooled off a bit now. The outside air temperature at the moment is 26. <laughs> Rather comfortable. Right, if you want to just gently take hold of these. Where should I hold them? Is it there? Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yep. So let's have a bit of on flight action. Okay. Alright, so you can see you have control. Now, just hold them where they are for a moment. Just gently pull it back slightly. And you see how it's going right? Yes. So you want to move the wing slightly that way. Move the handle slightly to your right. Okay, and hold it there now. Okay, so that's, you're flying the plane. Now I'm going back the other way. It's, you might overcorrect, it's called pilot induced oscillation. So what you want to do is aim for something on the horizon, try and keep that in mind, okay? I'm looking so, at the big white helmet, I can see that ahead of me, and I'm going to aim straight for that. Can you see three boats ahead of us? Uh, yes. Alright, so that's where we'll probably head for the boat on the left. Okay, so when we when we do this, we don't want to be changing our altitude because we use power from the engine to do that, generally speaking. So what we're trying to do now is maintain straight level. Now if you do a slight left turn, which is moving your hands to the right, to the right. you're moving your weight to the left. That's what you're trying to do. So try that. Move the bar that way. Okay, keep going. See how far you can go before you scare me. Yeah, I'm scared. So yeah. level out there, just pull it back to center. You're scared, I'm scared. And just do it again. Just gently. Same way. Oh, same way? Same way. How's it feeling? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing it gently so I can understand the dynamics involved. That's right, that's a good yeah. idea. Just to get a feel of the aircraft. Yeah. We're going to do a full circle right now. You can, you can tell me, it's obviously not bad, but I can feel it pulling, moving. Pulling. So you always, uh, the, only, the only challenge I face is I don't know my altitude, do I? So well, that's it there. I'm trying to, um, see, I, I, no, I, no. I can't see it. Well, you're doing pretty well. I'm trying to, um, you are descending, so you can let the bar around a little bit forward. Forward makes us go up, okay. okay. A little bit. And two, keep going left. Left, left. Yep, that's it. Hold it there. Oh, geez, all of a sudden she goes. Yeah. It's a really shallow kind of bank. Good ball. Push the bar forward a bit. We've got heaps of airspeed. We've got 75 knots. And of course, all these dynamics change now as we come around and catch that, that wind. Yeah, it won't. It'll change on the ground from what we are, but we'll still be doing exactly a perfect circle from what the air currents are doing. Okay. But what we see on the ground will be an oval because we're being pushed to the south. But a good pilot would learn if they were orbiting something on the ground to um, alter the way you're banking to maintain that circle around the object on the ground. So compensating for air currents. So we've maintained 2,000 feet. We've probably lost 100 feet doing all that. So you can level out straight ahead now. Yep, I'll just hold it there. Now if you feel like trying to go right or left, you let me know and I can compensate for that with this aircraft. I think it's trying to turn right, so I can add some left roll. And you'll see it's now trying to compensate that way. So I can just, so pull it back to straight, just try and hit the rainbow. What's it doing? If you relax a little bit, don't let go, but... Yeah, that, that's, that's the word. I, I need to relax. Okay, I've got it. You got it? Yep. Alright, so that's a little bit of a lesson on the camera. We're going to head for Rainbow Beach and we'll um, probably talk along the way. We're using up a lot of camera. Rainbow Beach traffic, track 6340 is 5 miles to the north at 1,000 feet, inbound Inskip Point, and then on to Double Island Point, Rainbow Beach traffic. So what were you saying before, Mike, about how many hours and all that? So, if I wanted to learn how to fly a trike, 
fish shoot. How many hours do I have to do tandem with someone? Oh, 20 hours. That's not very long, is it? 20 hours, but you've got to do five hours solo as well. Um, there's a possibility that it's changed, but I, that's what I had to do anyway. So, I, I mean, I liken that to my kids who are on a learner's license. They have to do 100 hours in a vehicle, yet you only have to do 20 hours solo. In uh, five hours solo? No, sorry, uh, 15 hours or 20 hours tandem? Yeah, five hours solo, 20 hours uh, with an instructor. But in that time, most of it will be circuits and most of it will be landing. So you'll probably do five to 10 landings a lesson and you'll do 20 hours. So you do the maths, it's 100 landings. Um, depending on qu how quick you are at learning. Anyway, this is Inscape Point. This is where a new sinkhole formed a few months ago, That's about a, a month ago. Is that that one down there now? I think this is the new one. All the trees are down, so... It's always hard to tell. It's cut in, so... But there's another hole up here too, which is... That looks different. Up straight ahead. Well, there was... This one here, there was one there where that... Black sand has come in. Oh, that's filled in then. That's completely filled in. But look, there's little shallow ones, kind of, or small ones. Yes. Like divots. Pretty empty down there. Not many um, people camping at all. A lazy Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Rainbow Beach Traffic Track 6340 is uh, Inskip Point tracking south coastal for a Double Island Point at 1,000 feet. Rainbow Beach Traffic. Down on the right now, we have Rainbow Beach, the well-known Rainbow Beach. And in the air along the cliff, we can actually see some paragliding. And all the rocks that have appeared after the... Um, We've got to make sure we don't hit any severe weather. Just be vigilant, just watch out for these guys, eh? Sure. I don't want to sort of get tangled up with one. Can't see anything up higher than nothing, us. Nothing at the higher moment. and nothing in front. That's Rainbow Beach, and here in front is our paragliders. There's a couple launching. One, two, three, four, five airborne. But they're I not can powered, see. they're just, um, they're just paragliding, so yeah, they're just on the slopes, thermaling and, and lift off the slopes, so we, well, probably not so much thermaling, of course. But slopey winds, they've got good wind today. So I should be able to say hello to some of the boys later on. There's the launch blow down there, the sand blow where they launch from. Yep. And, uh... Okay, but the reason we are here is before us. Double Island Point. Spectacular day today. Lose some power and descend a little. Safe at Karoi traffic, Charlie off to the air and joining crossbound now Karoi is trip runway 11 about Karoi. So in the early 90s I was camping just next to the track that takes you over to the other side of the ocean. See we were camping on the, this side here. National parks had it all set up. Yeah. But then it all got washed away. Okay. And it's taken. Yeah, what? Rainbow Beach traffic driving the next train now. Five miles to the north of that heading up to 2000. Check the southbound flow of the Trinco. Rainbow Beach. So it's taken 30 years for the sand to start to come back. Yeah, wow.
Yeah, this is low tide. There's not too much beach left. Feet. The lighthouse is about 500 feet above sea level. Okay. There's a few buildings up here, I didn't realise that. Big house. Somebody living there? Used to. I don't know. It looks like it's maintained. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's just it's so quick when you do it in the air. That's awesome. fascinating about watching those guys, they looks like they're just sitting in a chair, literally. Rainbow Beach traffic, track 6340 is 5 miles to the south, coastal 1000, inbound, Rainbow Beach traffic.
turns around and freaks out. What the? <laughs> There's an eagle. There's an eagle. Look at him just cruising along. This could get bumpy. We've got power on. We need a bit more lift. It's the boys in their toys over there flying the paragliding Rainbow Bay, Rainbow Beach. Sandblow. They call it Sandblow. There's a name for it, isn't there? Carlo. Carlo Sandblow. Rainbow Beach. But it looks so soft. Yeah. So I thought as we came over that face that we would have got a little bit of uplift. So did I. Just shows how well behaved this trike is. Okay. Excellent show. Well, boys, it's been a pleasure. We're heading home. Uh, we'll see you on YouTube, and I'll post this on the Sunshine Coast Paragliding Group. And in front of us now we have, uh, hopefully, not a uh, white-bellied sea eagle, which we just saw before, but Rainbow Beach. Let's tail down and power on. Okay, well, that was interesting. I didn't expect that. So we'll see the Sunshine Coast guys. Uh, I don't know, what would you call it? Hanging around in their chairs, in their air chairs. Their air chairs. Paragliding off the slopes of Carlo Sandlo in Rainbow Beach. Enjoying a wonderful afternoon in autumn. Queensland. Now we had the pleasure of seeing them in action. We're heading home now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again. Say bye, Mike. Goodbye. Not, not sure how much battery we got left, so we better end it there. Thanks for your company, by the way. Yeah, all of you and all of you. Hey, what? if I'm smiling, they can't tell, can they? No. Oh, I'm smiling, by the way. Okay, I can tell in your voice. Oh, That's good. what counts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. And here's the credits. Roll the credits, please. Uh, this episode is brought to you. Mirror Track 26340 turns downwind runway 35, full stop, Mirror Bar. At 1000 feet. Fly dog. I'm trying to do a regulation landing too, like in terms of do all my speeds and approaches and altitude descent rates correctly. It's a lot of white and silver roofs in Maryborough. So we're at 1000, we need to be holding. Yeah, there is, isn't there? I've noticed that. Yeah. Must be a Queensland reflection. Hold on. Mirror traffic track 6340 turns base, runway 35, full stop, Mirror Bar. So now we commence our 500 foot per minute descent from base. Want to be 500 feet on the final. That's going too fast. And yeah, we've got nothing coming. Nothing coming, nothing on the runway. We turn a final, we're at 500 nearly. 650, 550. 500 foot per minute descent. Airspeed too fast. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Back off the power. Lose a point. Stabilise the approach. Descending a little bit fast. Uh, airspeed is a little bit low. Hold it there, nice. And we're good. Power off, hold off. Let it settle. Speeding down. It's lowering, slowing, slowing. Look at that, just holding it off the deck. <laughs> and that's what you do. And then you use the wing to aerodynamically brake. Oh, okay. Yeah, by pulling the nose down. Mirror 
Maryborough, traffic track 6340 was clear of all runways, Maryborough. Do you want to say that? Go. Maryborough, traffic clear of all runways, Maryborough. Is that what I'm saying? No, you meant to say what I am, who I am. Maryborough, traffic track 6340. See, it's not easy, is it? No. So when you're flying and you've got to do radio calls, 